Don't turn around! <laughs> Welcome back everybody, Clinton today with Classic Firearms. You might recognize this gentleman I have to the left of me here, Tim Kennedy. Tim, thanks for hanging out with us today, man. My pleasure, thanks yeah. for having me. Absolutely, thanks for letting us come out and you know, shoot up some stuff and whatnot, and of course, run some pretty freaking cool guns. How, how should I word it? I don't know, we love them all equally, but sometimes, like, I love my children. <laughs> but sometimes I love one child more than another. Okay, the sometimes. Other, sometimes. Not all the time, Not just all sometimes. Time. All right, fair enough. Hey guys, our next giveaway is this guy right here. This is the SCAR 17 that we all know and love. But I'm gonna hand it on over to Tim, because I think you might have a little bit more experience with this guy than I do. Yeah. So this beauty, um, th this was originally a, a contract that went to SOCOM, and this, this gun was fielded by Special Operations, and they loved it. You know, like th this has gone to Afghanistan, it's been to Iraq, it's been to the most elite Special Operations units on the planet. Um, but there's a curring, a problem that people didn't like, which was the reciprocating handle. And uh, yeah. this handle right here would move back and forth every time that you shot. So if you're shooting, you know, off of a barricade, yeah. there's a chance that you would get a weapon malfunction. And if you didn't, if you weren't aware of that reciprocating handle, um, it would bite you sometimes. Yes. Well, that's been fixed. 2022 engineering has fixed that problem. And now the one complaint that people really had about this rifle is gone. Now you have a light, fast, you know, bolt action level accuracy battle rifle that is designed to take a beating. Yes. Uh, my 16 right here, to this day I have not cleaned. Why are my guns so dirty, Doug? <laughs> we both know why. No, you should you should clean your firearm every single day after you use it, or or just hear me out. Um, this is a new technique. Never clean them ever. You know, I'm probably 12, 14,000 rounds into it, yeah. and um, it still is just running beautifully. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. And so you are getting some pretty cool stuff in the gun alone, but it goes beyond that as well. We partnered up with Guard Dog Body Armor as well. <laughs> You've shot some of their stuff before. before. Yeah, I've shot quite a bit of their stuff. And they're introducing this new plate, guys. This is a level three plus plate. Uh, so we'll be shooting at it today here in just a few moments, because, uh, well, we're gonna be giving it away. It better freaking work, right? And let's do it. We just want you to shoot and destroy something. Yes. Hang out with you. Yes. Party! Let's do it. So let's uh, let's start off 9, 45, 55 grain, and 62 grain, 556, five, and then finish it off with a 762 NATO and see how it does. Boo, I like this. All right. You got a 9 mil on you, right? I do. Yeah, shoot it. Oh, right in the ear. Okay. I don't even feel any deformation on that. No. That's okay. It's not hot either. No, so level three plus will stop up to a 308. The nine mil is just a starting point, just a reference to see what type of damage we start to get. But so far, so good. I'm liking it. I also want to punch it. Yeah, like, it feels it's so good. soft, it feels like a punching bag. <laughs> All right. All right, I got a 45 on me. Let's see how this goes. Let's go for the other here. Nice. Good. All right, so we got a, you can feel a little deformation, but there's not anything that I think would be start to cause any type of internal damage, I don't think. No, no chance. Yeah. What was that, like a, oh, we need calipers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I failed geometry, math, algebra, all that stuff, no. no. The only numbers I like are like NATO numbers. Speaking of which, should we move into a 5.56 uh, five, gun? Heck yeah. Let's grab your scar. Grab it. It's just plain chain, 55 grain. That's like M&M. Yeah, see what I, like I just that. did, did right was, there? That was good. That okay. was solid. <laughs> so a little hit. low. Little, do another little one. low, but it stopped it. Yeah, do yeah. one more. Still pounding it low. Yep. So yeah. So you hit the pretty much the exact same spot. It didn't. It didn't puncture. It just deformed. It didn't go through. Go one more right there. Go okay. a little bit higher. 
There we go. Oh yeah. So it's not going through. That was that second shot. That was pretty much right in the same spot. But up here you can see where it's that bulging just a little bit more. Get my shadow out of it. That's that's still stopping. Yeah. No We're doubt. still rocking and rolling. You got 62 grain also, right? Yeah. Let's go for that lower left corner. So, so far so good. 62 grain, green tip. So we're bottom left corner, right? Yeah, go bottom left. Oh yeah, easy day. So again, so far I'm really impressed, man. We're t obviously it's taken multiple hits. You can see some of the, the goodness starting to fall out of it there, uh, but that's expected. It's gonna happen as that starts to break. Man, it's, it's, it's absorbing a lot of energy so far. But uh, okay, so we've got, what, three hits of 55 grain here, one of, five, of 62, got the nine, got the 45. Let me grab my 17, punch. Uh, right in the middle. Right in the middle, poor, poor guy. I feel like a bad guy doing that, but uh, let me grab my 17 real quick. All right, SMB 147 grain. Let's see, uh, let's, just, let's just see. Let's just go right for it here, just right. Dang! That's all right, it can be dirty. So it stopped it for sure. Yeah. But you can see again, all of that energy transfer, as much as you want to punch it, I don't think, uh, Tim, I know you I know you could handle me easily uh, and absolutely kick my butt, but I don't think you're gonna be able to transfer that much energy. No. <laughs> no, that's, I mean, that's pretty wild. So we got nine millimeter, 45, 308, three rounds of 556, five, kind of all stacked, two rounds right on top of each other. Yep. Nothing going through. That's let's uh yeah let's let's open it up because you guys are probably wondering too like what's all this stuff falling out? Was well, the Kevlar and like ceramic composite all up in here? This is this is the fun part of the job. You get to see all this. So check and out. get cancer. Ah uh, well yeah just don't breathe. All right so there we go. But all right so check this out. So right here copper jacket that's definitely from the uh, 223 there and you can see so you hit low it still didn't go through but man look at that is cool and they also use these little look at that there you go so that's that's your ceramic composite there which <laughs> that's gonna be your your primary stopper and it looks like where you hit was maybe just right under it and i think still the kevlar did enough to, yeah. to slow down that 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 projectile that's pretty impressive and more co copper jacket right here i like how that got stuck inside of the plate itself you know right what when you, when you get cheap body armor um a lot of times you get fragmentation especially with just like the ar500 oh, steel like the steel yeah and that stuff's just gonna that's gonna kill you like that's yeah. gonna splash up into your neck but as you can see in this all of the small fragments of bullets, that slag is getting stuck inside of the body armor. Right, and so like uh, what Tim's talking about, if you're running steel armor, you know, I get it can be a more budget-friendly option, but at the end of the day, what's your, what's your life worth, right? And so if you do choose to go to the steel option, make sure you get one of those spall liners uh, so that way it actually catches all that. Because if you've got metal on metal impact, you're going to have that fragmentation. You're going to have a bunch of small holes in your body instead of one giant one. So either way, it sounds like a bad day. Yeah, this is kind of cool. So that 308 here, yeah. you, you center punched it right through the center, hit that ceramic, right? And then as you start peeling back the layers, you can see, no, so how far it went. Like oh, there it is right there. there. It is. That's the, the whole very, very Look first layer of the Kevlar. We could start pulling back layers, but it didn't go through the first layer. There's, there's the first layer. Oh, wow. All right, so I actually it went it went through because three this layers be of the Kevlar. Yeah, and then that's that's impressive. So when you get to the back, yeah, it's just that bulge there. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is sweet. So I think this video is probably long enough for you guys. But if you want to see the torture test of this helmet, I do. <laughs> I think you'll be partaking. Okay, okay. But uh, stay tuned. Later this week, we'll do like an entire helmet setup video. We'll shoot at it and have a good time with it. And of course, one of you guys watching most likely will be the winner of 
this entire loadout. And just to recap, again, level three plus, multiple hits, and I just want to point out too that this wasn't defeated. No. Back here, we had just a break. It wasn't a puncture, it wasn't penetration, and I think that was just energy transfer like from the dirt and just breaking that sleeve pretty much. Uh, but as far as it actually being penetrated, we're we're solid here. So that, again, is very impressive for something that only weighs about 5.1 pounds to give you that level of protection, yeah. multiple hits, like stand you, alone. You can, you can see the Kevlar itself not punctured. Yeah. Um, what you have is just brunt energy hitting dirt and rock. That is the Texas terrain. <laughs> terrain, yeah. yeah. Sorry. But this, I, I, as first time I shot their body armor, um, I was like, I don't know these dudes. Yeah. So I just like, <laughs> kind of like every caliber, <laughs> and I was blown away. Yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend, guys. Check out Guard Dog Body Armor, of course, on classicfirearms.com. And that's also where you can get your entries for this entire loadout awesomeness that is our current giveaway. Utilize the code word Tim. Tim, to get yourself a couple hundred extra entries in this giveaway, guys. Let us know what you think down in the comment section below. If you'd like to see, I don't know if they'll approve of this or not, but if you'd like to see even more torture testing of guard dog body armor, like more different different calibers, different maybe levels of body armor that they offer. Set on fire, set, uh, freeze it, yes. then shoot it, oh. pee on it, pee then, on it. Okay. and then try to launch like a rocket propelled grenade. I don't know, just, just shoot talking. Do you, do you have one of those available? I do. We got this. We'll see you next time. Guys, as always, we appreciate your business. God bless. We'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com. Tim, thanks again, man. Tim, my pleasure.